Hi, I'm Melting Mirror and I'm a cosplayer and I've been doing it for a long time. So long that I have been running a blog since 2011 and every year I've been doing kind of like a review or a throwback about all the things that I did that year and every year I wrote about what I've learned. I put all of that into a document and I printed it out and it turns out it's four pages long. So I got a lot of tips and tricks to share with you. The oldest blog that I started doing the What I've Learned section in my yearly blog was in 2013. My first tip from 2013 me, don't leave your costumes until the last minute. <laughs> you're gonna end up with a rush job and you're gonna have a hard time fixing it down the line. Um, did I learn my lesson? For the most part, yes. If 2020 and 2021 has taught us anything, you can always wait until next year for the convention. So if you can avoid it, don't rush your costume because fixing it after the fact is such a frustrating process. Like, I had it happen a few times where I just gave up on a costume because I just didn't want to fix the rushed work and I was just not happy with it. There's a little bit of that rush that you get when you're working on a costume, you know, the night before the con, but it's not worth it. Um, nobody likes having sewing machines running in your hotel room. You're missing the convention, you're missing out on the fun. My second point was, my last minute work is getting a lot cleaner, which <laughs> is true. You know, once you get enough experience at doing something, you're gonna get better at it, you're gonna be faster at it, and even in a high pressure um, situation, you're gonna be able to deliver a higher quality than say, you know, a couple of years ago. I don't recommend it though, you know, try to avoid it whenever possible. Another cosplay tip from 2013 me. Clear Plasti Dip works great to seal in Warbler. Would I use this today? Not so much, but here's a little bit of context for this tip. I made one of my first Warbler armors back in 2013. That was my Telos costume. I painted it and then sealed it with clear Plasti Dip, which has a little bit of like a matte finish. FYI. I took it to Colossal Con, so the water park con, and I was able to wear it around and the paint is still good to this day. It withstood a hot tub, it withstood salt water pools, so it really seals it in there. So if you need something that like is heavy duty and can take a lot of wear and tear, then that's an option for you. A cosplay tip from 2013 me, don't use old gesso to prime your warbler. I mean this seems a little self-explanatory, but <laughs> Let's get into it. Old Warbler, it tends to get dried out. You can end up with the, these little clumps. It tends to crack. It doesn't go on as even. So if you can, avoid using like really old gesso or old product because it tends to not work as well. I ended up sabotaging myself a little bit here because I love to buy things in bulk to save money. But what's the point if it ends up going bad before you get to the bottom of it? Sometimes you just have to take the hit pay a little bit more per, you know, milliliter and get a smaller package and actually use it to the end as opposed to having a bunch of extra product that just expires or is no good, you know, two, three years down the line. Another tip from 2013 me, Wonderflex is way sturdier than Warbler. Context here, this was in the early days of thermoplastics, so you know, not everybody knew about how this worked. A little bit of context, um, Wonderflex has like a mesh in it, which gives it a lot of texture, as opposed to Warbler is just like thermoplastic gluey stuff in a sheet. You still use that thermoplastic gooey stuff in Wonderflex, however, in between those layers of the thermoplastic, you have the mesh. So Warbler is really easy to use with like little mini scraps of it. You can just reform it into new little details of your armor. As opposed to Wonderflex, it's not as easy to reuse the scraps because you'll end up with like all these little hairs sticking out of it because of the mesh. A still very true tip from 2013 me. Double check your costume mid photo shoot. The amount of times I have paid money for a photo shoot and I've gotten the photos back and my like hat is halfway off my head, my makeup got smudged, things flipped over or it doesn't look right, it's, it happens a lot. Take a few minutes in between, you know, maybe locations or taking certain photos to double check that everything is 
good on your costume. I often have a little hand mirror with me to just double check on my makeup and maybe like the stuff on my head and then you can just do a little quick visual check for the rest of the costume. If you want to take it another step above that, see if you can get a friend to come with you to your photo shoot, preferably a cosplayer who knows what's up, and they can help you fix up your costume in between your photos. So I often like to do this with my friends. I'll go to the photo shoot and if I see there's a bunch of flyaways in their wig or their hat is like off to the side, I'll just be like, oh, give me a second. I'm just gonna fix that for you. And then you end up with beautiful photos and everybody wins. <laughs> a philosophical point from 2013 me. If you order a wig for a convention and you're cutting it a little close, it will arrive the day you come back from the convention. Context. Wigs weren't as easy to come by back in the day. Um, you were rolling the dice a lot if you were ordering it, say, the same month as the convention that you were going to. You have way more options nowadays. You can even order them next day on Amazon. But even then, if you're ordering it from, you know, another country, you can still run the risk of it not showing up on time. And the amount of times the wig showed up the day I came back, <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> so, you know, don't kill yourself trying to get a costume done at the last minute when the wig isn't even there and you don't know if it's going to show up on time. I forgot to film an outro, so here's some costumes I made in 2013. And I'll see you in the next one.